In this video we will learn what's new in the new version of Tesla SCADA 2.19. First of all, we add objects, some objects. First of them, it's schedule objects in recycle library. You can find here. Primarily, we created two recipes, schedule 1 and schedule 2. Let's see. This recipe named schedule, data by schedules, and table name schedule 1. We add to the schedule several parameters and copy this schedule and name it schedule 2. And this schedule has the same parameters. Now let's set up our object schedule. Let's bind to default schedule schedule 1. Let's choose text interval. This time interval when value of this text has elapsed, the schedule moved to next row. Let's see. Let's increase columns. Let's start. We should add parameters. For example, first Let's add other parameter. For example, second. And let's add another set. Let's see how it works. Let's start this schedule and you'll see that our parameters change to the values of first row. Talk 1000, speed 1050, total 90. After 20 seconds, bind to the hour interval, you'll see the second row. Talk 2000. Speed to sound fifty and let's see so parameter. You can pause this schedule or and you can run again and you can stop this parameter. Also we add another object called parameter table. You can use the database values of this parameter. You can bind to the same schedule. Choose row the schedule and add collections. We'll add the same values that we used in schedule table. Talk at speed. And let's choose not let's increase 
with column width. For example, let's see how it looks. It looks like current value of the of our value in this column and value of um, database here we will choose first row so 1000 talk 1050 speed and throttle 90 persons we can bind this parameter to bind to database row we'll choose randomly create a tag, tag row and now create object to change this tag for example we choose selector let's choose selector tag row and add some new row some new value And this now you can see we'll choose second row and you can choose that row. You can copy value from the database to the current tag. Or for example, you can copy all database values to the Current values. You can see we will choose first rows values to our current values. You can do this for the other rows. Also, in the new version, we have possibility to save history values in history database by by when text value change from false to true we we'll choose tag storage type and choose tag that will be changed when the value will be changed from false to zero the history collection will be saved in history database let's bind this tag to the bottom And values will be saved when we click this button. Now you can change this text value by any other way in controller or in script value. Okay. Also in this version we've made some improvements. We have possibility to group text in some groups by server name or by some parameter name or by some location name of the devices that contain this text. For example, we add new server and you can move this tag by drag and drop operation or you can Choose here group. For example, you can 
move text here or you can copy by deck and drop or by context menu you can see this tag here also we made possibility when text name is changed all objects that contain this text the properties of the objects that contain this text will change this value for example we renamed this tag to save history 2 and see our indicator changes name and control property also change. Also, we have possibility to choose text by the tree, the tree of text. It's more comfortable. Also, like in previous versions, you can choose tag by typing its name in when checkbox when combo box in focus. Okay, thank you for watching and if you have any questions, please write this, them in, in our forum or email us.